Hey, this is Tristan at Hip Cooks in West Los Angeles, and Valentine's Day is coming up, so I've been brainstorming inexpensive desserts. What I thought about was chocolate love, or drinking chocolate. All right, drinking chocolate, thick, luscious chocolate. It's almost like you're biting into a good bar. So I have a good bar of chocolate here. This is about two ounces, and I've chosen to use a 53% chocolate here, which is about, I don't know, that's kind of a rich milk chocolate. If you wanna go with 73%, then you'll have a darker, richer flavor, which would be good too. But to help melt the chocolate, I just wanna shave this chocolate down, cut it into smaller pieces so that it melts a little faster. So I've got a pot here and a stainless steel bowl and some hot, hot water. So fill the bottom bowl with hot water and then with your stainless steel bowl, set that on the top and put your chocolate into the bowl. And that heat from the water will heat this stainless steel bowl and slowly melt the chocolate. So just let that sit in there for a while, let the chocolate get warm. Don't stir it often because stirring cools things. So you'll just see that it pretty quickly starts to melt. If you see any big chunks in there, give those a break. And we'll check that progress in a moment. So for the milk, what else goes into drinking chocolate? We have two ounces of heavy cream and six ounces of whole milk. And we wanna put that in a thick bottom pot and heat it on low. Be careful with your milk because it can scald. So keep this on really low heat. Keep your eye on it so you don't end up with burned milk. So we're gonna wait for this to warm up. This will take a couple of minutes. And then we can see the chocolate here is starting to melt. So just move it around a little bit. Give that a bit of time to continue to melt. The chocolate is nice and creamy. It's all melted just the way we want it, so it's almost ready to put into our milk. Okay, I wanna give it a dash of vanilla extract, just for a little added flavor. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little Grand Marnier in there. If you don't wanna put any Grand Marnier or orange liqueur, you certainly don't have to. Okay, so time for the chocolate. Get this scraped on in. to our milk and have a fork or a whisk ready to whisk in that chocolate. So just give this a little bit of time for it to meld together. And this is kind of like homemade hot chocolate, but richer. So as the chocolate continues to meld in with the milk, it will get darker. And as the chocolate cools, it will get darker. All right, I have a little bit of chocolate down in the bottom, but that's okay. Give it a stir. And if you like whipped cream, you can top it with whipped cream. And that is how to make drinking chocolate. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see me prepare any other recipes, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.